Hello everyone. Today we are going to be doing a drawing of Van Gogh's um, sunflowers. So to get started, we are going to draw the vase. To draw the vase, we're going to start with drawing an oval in the middle of our page. We are then going to go to this outer point on our oval and we're going to bring a line that curves inward and then back out. It's going to come to a stop right about here. We're going to do the same thing on this other side. We're going to bring it inwards and at about the same space as we did before we are going to turn outwards and curve it on down Try to have it end in the same spot as you, your other side did. As you can see, this side it looks like it goes more out than this side. So I'm going to try and correct that. That looks much better. But now this upper part is wrong. Alright, I can be happy with that. I'm um, going to clean up my lines just a little bit, finish connecting the lines down here at the bottom. So we now have a flower pot, a vase, if you will. You can add a design to the flower pot. Vase. It's a vase, not a flower pot. Um, I am going to leave mine blank for the moment. I want to see how my sunflowers develop first. So, we are going to be drawing several different sunflowers. Alright, so the first one I am going to have come straight up like this. So I'm going to have three circles here. The outer circle is where my petals are going to reach to. This is where the center of my circle starts. And then inside the, the center part of the sunflower, there's a smaller circle that is an indention in the center of the flower. So we have one flower placed, but not completed. We're going to do the same thing with the rest of our flowers. We are going to place them, but not complete them. This flower is going to be looking out. This one's looking three quarters. So far we have three flowers, but we need some more. So we're going to have another one. It's maybe a little bit shorter. And go right here. We'll erase those lines. And I think we'll do one more kind of looking out. Alright, so I have one, two, three, four, five. Five flowers that we are going to draw. We are going to start with these two on the outside. Alright, so our petals are still going to go up to this line.
So I'm just drawing flower petals that will fill up this flower and I can erase this line that we no longer need marking where the petals are going to hit. We are going to draw a couple of leaves connecting at the bottom of this flower. Alright, so that's one flower. I'm not going to draw the stems yet. I want to get, uh, I'm not going to thicken the stems yet. I want to get all the flowers drawn before I do that. So we're going to come over here. You really can't see the inside part of this flower. And that's okay. Our petals are still going to reach nice and tall. Remember, our petals will layer on each other. And again, we will add some of these smaller leaves that would be underneath the, uh, it's kind of like the part that would cover the, the flower bud. Um, before it actually blooms. Um, so those are the leaves that we are adding at the bottom of the sunflowers there. Now, for these three, um, we are just going to extend our leaves if we were to draw a line here in half. That can help us place our leaves. Some of them will be on that center line. Some of them will be just to the side of it. It's a good way to help place flowers, petals, um, if you're having trouble making it look right. Because we don't want everything lining up and being matchy-matchy. We're going to do the same thing over here, drawing our leaves, our petals, to reach outwards. And we can erase the lines that we don't need. And the same thing over here. I'm going to add in that center circle. But then I'm going to go ahead and start drawing out my flower petals. I'm going to have this side be a little bit shorter on the length of the flower petals because I want it to look and feel like maybe the flower is turned just a little bit. So we can even have that part right there elongated some. So it's not a perfect circle.
So that is my line over here. That's okay, I can erase it now. So the last thing left to draw is our stems and leaves. The leaves are fair, the stems are fairly easy because you're just adding that second line to add some thickness. But our leaves, we want to make sure don't distract from our flowers. And I might decide I want to shorten my base, make it smaller instead of as wide as it is, which is perfectly fine. Just going to take some distance off of it. I feel it's going to help make it look more full without having to go in and add more flowers to match. much better. And I am going to go ahead and draw something, a uh, design or something on my vase. I think I'm going to attach a pretty little bow. back to establish that it is sitting on a table, it is not floating in mid-air, and in the very bottom corner we are going to put our name. Now, you can color your picture using any medium you want. That means you can use crayon, you can use colored pencil, you can use watercolor, you can use markers, it is up to you, but it still needs to be done to a level 3 or level 4. If you are coloring with markers, you still need to be able to see all the detail and you still have to fill up all the white space. Do not use more than one medium for the artwork unless you're using crayons and you decide to outline something in marker or pen first. Um, so, I mean, if you're wanting to outline it first and then color it, that is okay, but don't mix between markers and color pencils. It needs to be the same type of medium um, for the entire picture. I can't wait to see what you come up with, and I will see you next time.